Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today, we're going to work on some 30-odd-6 Springfield brass. And uh, the length it's supposed to be, maximum, according to Sammy Specs, is 2.494 inches. That's the maximum by Sammy Spec. Once it focuses. And I've got some 270 brass which is um the exact same basically as uh 30 odd six brass except it's uh neck down to 0 0.270 instead of 0 0.308 and um when you expand it and stretch it it becomes a little long so my 270 brass which is now converted into odd six brass is 0.2529 so we got to shorten it up. So what I'm using today for tooling is an RCBS Trim Pro. I've had it for a number of years, as you can tell. <laughs> and uh, what it is, is a mini lathe that is either hand-powered or I've got mine hooked into a drill to help uh, speed the process along just simply due to the amount of brass that I have to deal with and then after I run it through I go and use a chamfering tool inside and outside chamfering tool and we'll get to that in a second so it, this has a couple of lock colors that you can put it to the the length exact length you want and lock it into position you can get it close then as it's got two pieces here and the this dial here can adjust in or out to to bring it to the exact thousands that you want. So mine is a is a couple it is a tenth over. So what we're gonna do is put it in here. I've got this set. You can barely see a space there. So what we're gonna do is spin it, and then it'll bottom out here, which means your brass should be to the length it's supposed to be. But it's also got a little bit of a burr on it. I use this to make sure that it's nice and smooth here. Give it a couple spins of this. And then let's grab the, the calipers. And I've got mine because of I just dropped mine. I went and just zeroed them out and you can see there this one is 0 0.2470 so let's see how repeatable that is so you can say see, see it's 270 win but in all accordances it's odd six brass and I go and let it zero itself straighten itself out because it's got two jaws here that are held in tension just dropped a whole bunch of brass on the floor it's neither here nor there I can pick that up once I'm off camera. Go and just check for... Oh, and there goes my tools. Point two four nine two nine three. So, let's see if it's... What the issue is. Let's... Normally, I'd be using it on, on a proper tabletop. I, I've got it set up for some other stuff right now. So. Ooh. 
Look at that. Pretty darn close. It's definitely under length by a couple thousandths or a couple hundredths, and that's good enough. And I'm going to carry on with the rest of these off camera because I've got a bunch to do. But so that that's tooling I use. If your brass is too long, I use I can either use my uh, my Trim Pro uh, here, or I I can use my 3D printed one with a milling machine uh, bit on an end mill bit in. But so this is the most basic way, and the other way you need a uh, you can use a drill. But I got this first before I went into high tech stuff. Anyway, play with fire, like, comment, and subscribe.